Mm, yeah, guys. Um, we'll be talking about a brief um topic. We'll be talking about um preservation of the periosteum and the endosteum. Okay. Um, for bone healing. Um, the question is um precautions are taken to preserve periosteum and endosteum during bone surgery. Okay. What are the histological reasons for this? Um, this is the endosteum, that's the periosteum. Um, endosteum is like the outer, outermost. No. Endosteum is like the innermost, while periosteum is the outermost. All right. Um, we said that um, they are preserved because um, bones are crucial for skeletal support of the body. All right. Uh, a bone is a, a site for what hematopoietic cells and reservoir of calcium and phosphate. Okay, the periosteum and the endosteum are essential for growing, fracture healing, and remodeling of the bone. Okay, periosteum and endosteum contains bone uh, cells. Okay, that's the osteoblast, the osteoclast, the osteoprogenitor cells. Okay, and they are required for bone development and remodeling of the bone. Okay, um, they give nutrition to the bony tissue. Okay, now a poor preservation of the periosteum and the endosteum during surgery can lead to the damage of the bone. Okay, because it contains the cells, it contains the nutrition, so they should be preserved properly during surgery. Okay, so these guys, um, that's a note on the preservation of periosteum and endosteum during surgery. Okay. So see you guys in the next year and bye for now.